hosting and our domain. The next step is gonna be installing WordPress. So to install WordPress, we're gonna go to hosting here on the top menu. And then where it says premium web hosting, we're gonna click on setup, start now. And then here we're simply gonna click on skip. I don't want personalized experience. Here we're gonna click on create a new website. Now we wanna use WordPress. So we're gonna click on select here under WordPress. And then here we can create our WordPress account. So it already takes the email that we have used for Hostinger. So all you need to do is set a password. Then click on continue. Then here they ask us if you want to already install some plugins to our website. For now, we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna click on skip. I will manage plugins later. And we also don't wanna choose a template just yet. So again, we're gonna click on skip. I don't need a template. Here we can now choose our domain. So you should be able to see the domain that you have chosen before and then click on select here. And then here we can also choose our server location. So we can click on this icon here and then we can see different locations. And these locations will basically be where your website files will be stored. So what you wanna do is choose a location that is closest to where your visitors of your website are gonna be coming from. So if you have a lot of people visiting your website from Europe, you might wanna choose a location that is close to these people, which is here in Europe, the UK, for example. If you have more people coming from the US, then you might wanna choose a server that is located in the US because that will make your website a lot faster for people located in this area. So I'm just gonna click on cancel here and go with the default location and then click on finish setup. Then let's click on edit website and this will take us directly to WordPress. So let's click this window here and then click on the WordPress icon on the top left and this should take us into our WordPress dashboard. So this is the place where you'll be able to manage and control your website. And whenever you wanna come back to your WordPress dashboard, all you have to do is just go to your URL box at the top, type in your domain name. So this would be medicsmediainfo.com for this example, and then hit forward slash WP hyphen admin which stands for WordPress admin, then hit enter, and this will take you back to your WordPress dashboard. And when 